Hey everyone, it's Joy here and I am so, so very excited to be sharing this card kit with you. This is the best mix ever card kit and it is totally bringing me back to the 80s. So you have your mixtape die, then you have your mix master background, the best mix ever stamp set, the mini strips mixtape, then of course you have your envelopes and the cute cassette tape uh, stickers for your envelope and then your awesome bag. Then there's a couple add-ons. You have your best mix ever die and then your black bits and pieces. I'm also going to be using sea salt, key lime, candy corn, lollipop, blue raspberry, potato chip, jelly donut, Earl Grey, Oreo, and sugar cube cardstocks. So we got a lot of colors going on here. Then for I'm going to be using the mini strips die for the mini strips mixtape sentiments, foam sticky strips, blue raspberry ink, Versamark ink, Oreo ink, and then white embossing powder. So I already did my duck die cutting off camera and here are the pieces that I've die cut. I used Oreo cardstock for this. I think I die cut that like seven or eight times. Then blue raspberry for this one. We have a piece of acetate because we are going to turn this cassette tape into a shaker, which is so much fun. Earl Grey, Oreo, then there's lollipop, and then we have our other colors that I die cut from that little strip die there. Then from Oreo cardstock, we have these little pieces here. There's hearts and um, lightning bolts and some music notes. So we're gonna use the music notes. I'm gonna start with one of these first pieces. I have some liquid glue in the back and we will adhere the piece of acetate. So this of course is going to be on the front of our card, but I wanna get this first base piece down. We actually are going to add another one of these black frames on top after I add these strips. So we are definitely gonna be bringing in the 80s color. So this is key lime and I wanna start at the top right under the black piece because I want to be able to see all of these colors on the front of this cassette. Then the next color is the lollipop. And again, just a little bit of liquid glue and just lining that up, making sure everything sticks. Then we have potato chip. And I'm going to pop that right in place. Then I'm gonna be using the Jelly Donut next, and then after that, I will be using Candy Corn. And so there's a lot of uh, strips left, but you could just stick this in your card kit if you're only making one card right now, and you can just tuck that away and use it for another card. Now, like I mentioned, we are making a shaker card. So I did die cut a lot of those black Oreo frames because I'm gonna use that for dimension instead of like foam tape. Now I wanna add this other black frame right on top so it kind of gets rid of the strips along the side and now the whole black frame is cohesive. So adding a little bit of liquid glue and adding that right on top. Then that's our backer piece, but we first need to finish adhering this. So we have our little lollipop piece here that we're going to add at the bottom. Then we have our Earl Grey and Oreo piece and you're gonna stack these on top of each other and that's going to go right in the center of the tape deck. And I don't know if you guys remember, but when you're when the tape would come out and you'd have to take a pencil and put it into this and wind it back up, like those were the days, you guys. It was so much fun. So I'm going to adhere that right in the middle. And there is a little indent from the die so you can see exactly where that should fit. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's put that aside. And now let's make our thickness so our shaker bits can move freely. I'm just gonna use some liquid glue and just adhere a bunch of these pieces. I think there's six or seven here in the back. I think there's six. So we have a total of eight pieces, but there's going to be six in between the back and the front acetate piece. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid glue in the back and then ad adhere that solid blue raspberry piece that we're gonna see through. And look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. Now I decided to take some of these music notes and add it. And so I'm just adding my the top of my cassette tape so I could see where to line those two music notes up that we could see them nicely through the acetate. I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid glue. And then remember there's the black bits and pieces add-on. 
I think these are little gems. And I'm gonna use that as my shaker bits. I love that they're black, but I'm not gonna do a ton of them. I'm just gonna do a little bit because I don't want to get rid of the blue raspberry background because that is totally part of the 80s colors. So I was kind of, uh, I put a, just a little bit of those bits and pieces in there. I'm adding some liquid adhesive and then I can add the top. And I'm gonna put this aside and, and put something heavy on top until that glue has completely adhered everything. Let's do our background. We are using the Mix Master background on a piece of sea salt cardstock. I am prepping it with an anti-static powder tool. I will be using Versamark ink because I want to do some white heat embossing on this. I think the white against the gray it will be neutral enough because we have so many colors going on with that tape deck and then I want to add some color to one of the sentiments. So I needed the background to be a bit more neutral. So I thought this would be a fun way to do it, but you would still really be able to see that background. So I sprinkled on the embossing powder and I'm heating that with my heat tool until it melts and it is nice and shiny. And it is a fun, fun background, you guys. I just think it is so super cute. Let's do our sentiments. We have from the Mix Master, or excuse me, the best mix ever. It says best mix ever. And then the other sentiment says, if mixtapes were still a thing, I would have made you one, which I think is so cute. So I'm gonna stamp that one with Oreo ink. I took out my piece of cardstock. I'm lining it up on my grid paper from my Misty to make sure it's nice and straight. And so it was, I brought my cardstock back in, I stamped that up, and then I'm using the blue raspberry on the best, the best mixed ever sentiment. And this does have a coordinating die to go with it. That is also an add-on. I'm also stamping from the mini strips mixtape with Oreo ink on sugar cube cardstock. And I'm gonna use the you and me right at the top. So these are like the little labels. So when you would make your mixtape, you could add your little label of what it is. I am using the mini strips die here to die cut this out. I'm gonna tape that in place and then just run that through my die cut machine. Here is that coordinating die for the best mix ever. Again, this is an add-on that you can get to the kit. And then I'm just gonna use a paper trimmer to trim out the other sentiment that we stamped. Now let's lay this out. I am using some foam sticky strips behind the best mix ever sentiment. I want this one, actually I want all my sentiments popped up. And that tape is really thick because remember we added all of those layers of cardstock. So it's almost about the size of a normal cassette tape, you guys, it's so thick. But everything is gonna have dimension which feels just a whole like a whole lot of fun. Let's add some foam sticky strips behind this sentiment. And then I'm just gonna place the tape deck just on an angle in between those two sentiments. But let's add the sentiment that says you and me. And I'm actually gonna change that up. I'm gonna add one of the little black hearts in the center right over the and, because I just thought that would be really, really cute. Using some liquid glue to adhere that to the background because I want this to stay forever because remember it's a shaker and it's thick and heavy. So there is that cute little heart and then we have some more of the musical notes and this will be adhered to an A2 size card base, like a white A2 size card base. But how cute is this, you guys? You totally need this kit in your life. It is so darling. You guys can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.